Hello and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play of World of Tanks. I actually just got dropped into a very uh, good game with my Hetzer here. See what I can uh, rustle up in terms of some death and destruction. Everything around me is uh, pretty low end compared to what I have. The only things I really need to worry about is that Lee and the uh, crazy fast Leopard on the other side. Everything, well, unless they have a BT-7, then, well, yeah. <laughs> you can't do anything about a BT-7, they're just quick. Yeah, that looks like it's a good balanced team on both sides. I got two Hetzers on my side, an 832, I believe. And a whole lot of other stuff, so... Let's hope this one pans out. <laughs> my uh, third or fourth outing here in the Hetzer. Now that I have the upgraded engine, it certainly does make a difference. Yeah, before it was abysmally slow. But huge, huge difference has been made with the... Oh, nice, good shot has been made with the upgraded engine. I'm actually remotely mobile now. Not too worried about uh, having to run from stuff. Can move fairly fast. Can rotate rather quick. With that the engine before it was slow. And in my last video I was still in this engine. It was moving fairly fast but also didn't really have anywhere to move. But now, now we're, uh, we have to get in position and everything. Yeah. This thing's actually not bad. Not bad at all. Can't wait to see it with an upgraded gun. That's going to be the trick, finding out how I like that. I think these guys might be too far away for me to hit. We'll give a shot, though. Yeah, I don't know where it went. Yeah, I'm, I have no idea where I'm hitting. Oh, there we go. Got him. This guy's going to hold still for me no idea where he was. I'm going to actually have to move back here to support my team. They're about to get overrun, the artillery at least. So I hit. He's gone, I can't see him. So I took out the light tank. Still the... Still some good stuff back here that i got to worry about. It bounced. Okay. There we go. He's gonna get stuck here for a minute. Got him. He took out too much of my team though. I feel bad. Couldn't support him quick enough. Oh, looks like we have someone on our team capping. I hear shells raining in around me. Definitely, definitely shells are coming in near me. Gotta run. Time to haul. Come on. Come on, Edzer. Kick in the overdrive. No. Got hit by something. So now it's just uh, a light tank, which is over here with me. Uh, Panzer 3A, not that great. Myself, some tank destroyers, and an SPG. Well, at least we all have kills. So we're doing kind of hot. Need to find this uh, M3 Lee. That's the one thing that has, has me worried. And here he is. I think that's him back up into the woods a bit. I'd rather take the surprise shot than uh, deal with it. Oh no. They know where I'm at. Gotta maneuver carefully. Get myself into the woods again. Hopefully he lost the line of sight here. When he pops up and I can hit him. Here we go, Martyr 2. I missed. No, not good. Oh, I hit the wrong way. Ooh, I got lucky on that one. Hit the wrong button on my keyboard, but they ended me. I was ended by, uh... I can't even tell you. Something. Anyway, that was a pretty good round there. Uh, the, yeah, not bad. We might might pull it out. I don't know. Have to see. This round looks like it could be a pretty uh, good match. There's a lot of low level spread. Teams look about even. Gonna be probably a good game. I came from a uh, game just a minute ago where it was me in a T3457 against nothing but all heavies that were easily two or three tiers higher than me. 
was not a uh, did not turn out well. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. So hopefully this one goes a little better. The problem is of course hitting things that are moving a mile like that guy. I don't know if I'll be able to hit him per se. Or you just hit him randomly like that. It's his fault for poking out. Should have known better. So I'm just going to sit here and pop guys as they come in the open, I guess. They're knocked out. I'll teach them. Of course, not really a fair one. I have a gigantic tank gun like this one. But, oh no. Oh, geez, something hit me hard. Had to be artillery. It was just ranged in, waiting on me to poke my head back out. And I did. That'll teach me. Slow turret traverse. Gotta worry about the leopard. A little fast moving thing's probably gonna. Oh, no, he didn't go for the artillery. I'm surprised. Oh. Nope. Kurt couldn't decide where it was gonna turn. Yeah, at the moment, stuck behind this hill until, uh. Hill is a little more secure from their artillery. He's going back behind that hill. So it should be safe there. Keep an eye out for him though. When he pops up, take care of it that way. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> I guess artillery tried to hit him? Something. My back is exposed to him though. I'm not too uh, fond of that. I think the KV's right near me. Yeah, he is. Really can't see much of anything else though. So at these long distances, yeah, this sadly I'm just sitting here just sniping people with this tank. I'm not really uh not really being much use elsewhere. Nope. Take one more chance at where I think he is. Nope. Okay. We got a lot of stuff flanking us though. So you're gonna turn around and focus on that. Ugh, turn, turret, turn! There we go. And nothing's... Car uh, yeah. Not good. My back is exposed. Let's see if I can't turn. You want to keep, like I said, you want to keep it facing towards them. That's going to give you a better chance of glancing ahead. I have to back up. Alright, let's move out. Don't like going at 50%, but hopefully it's nothing major that I can't deal with. Is that PZ-3? I wonder where the PZ-4 is. So we'll get him. Wait for this Hetzer here. Get him. Oh, no, no, no. Not good. Move, 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 move. This guy's gonna come around behind me, so I'm gonna try and get around to him before I, uh... We're nope. I got hit by artillery. I did pretty well, though. If it wasn't tracked there, I probably would've, uh, done a whole lot more. Oh, city maps. Let's go. Can be a tank hunter's dream, and also a tank hunter's worst nightmare. Just gotta pick the right lane and hope for the best, because if you, uh, pick the wrong one and get flanked, it's, uh gonna be a short day for you. So, the majority of people always come this way, up and down, uh, eight, I guess that is, yeah. Steer around the carnage over here. Yeah, most people come up and down eight, as I can already see, there's tons of people up here. I was hoping to, uh, be up here a little quicker than they all were, but I am a Hetzer after all. So we're gonna kinda get half in this shelter, or uh, cover, half out. Keeps me protected from their artillery on the other side of the board. But yet I also have the uh, angle I need to hit a majority of... No, I have the angle to hit the whole street. It's just if I get flanked, I need to back up, turn around, and take care of stuff. Probably should go assist him, but he advanced and there's tank hunters up there. That's... He's actually doing it. Alright, well, I'll go assist. It's my better uh, judgment. Could probably use the help, I guess. 
might be pinned in. As I end up ramming the tank here, gotta weave through them all. Can't shoot. Gets them away. I can't believe I didn't hit my own teammate, actually. I should have really thought about that one before I shot. Here's a small chance I could have killed my own buddy, and that would have uh, that would have not ended too well for me. It would have turned around. Well, I wouldn't have gotten shot back, but I certainly would have uh, not accomplished much in terms of experience. So as you can see here, we've already pretty much uh, seized their base. The majority of their forces up on top of the hill being contained by ours. So I'm just going to quickly get ready for this guy. He's going to get away from him before I can get him again. And he's actually going to sit there. Why are you going to sit there? So I'll just take my time. There we go. Got a guy in behind me though. I got to watch out for. Oh, spin. And I didn't hit him. Lovely. I was trying to assist my teammate. Okay, let's go for the base cap. Looks like we should have it. Yeah, I believe we have it. We took out all their artillery. They have nothing really left. They just have that heavy, which uh, shouldn't be a problem between the KV there with the derp gun and myself. Should be all right. We do have a tank hunter behind us, but as long as it stick behind this wall, we should be okay. Oh yeah, we have a massive amount of people up here. Oh, that was not smart. Ooh, that's... Why am I missing so bad? Don't know why. There we go. Ah, I don't care. I'm going to take him out anyway. I'm hit from behind by something. I'm getting hit from all over now. I'm PZ4, I totally can't take him on right now. going to have to go and hide. Right like that. Still getting hit from all over. It's got to be a guy up top. So I'm gonna sit right here, where it's nice and safe. They can't get to me. Hopefully. Wow, we're getting reduced pretty bad. I think I'm just gonna sit here. I'm not gonna do much with one hit point. I'm better off sitting here trying to take the cap. And if someone comes around this edge, I can take him out. Yeah, because otherwise I'm just going to. Uh, Critical hit him for no damage. Not good. Come on. There we go. So, that should probably be all that I can accomplish with this little tank. Sit here and hide for the cap. One hit point left. I actually was able to do it. What do you know? Whew, three kills ain't bad either. So, there we go. Cap, good battle. A lot of luck was involved there. So, see what we can do with another one. I know I'm just jumping right in the end of this game here, but I'm already four kills off. I've killed an IS, an SU-100, a VK-36, and whatever else is out here. I've just been and hitting things from miles and miles away with no damage to me. It's like unreal. Here we go. They're down to two tanks left, and I've just been uh, doing hot. I'm going to try and fit this one in somewhere just as like a highlights reel. I've just been patrolling up and down, just jumping hills left and right, and uh, it just has worked out really well. Haven't taken much in the way of hits. The only damage I hit did was to myself when I rammed a uh, SU-100 to keep him from turning around. And that's when I just shot him in the back and took the kill. I've been doing hot. I mean, damaging everything, killing an IS. I would, yeah, an IS is pretty awesome to kill. For PZ-4, that is. Certainly, uh, this turret and this gun make a huge difference. I'm going to try and probably should get down lower. Swing around behind the guys here. Playing this late at night as I'm trying to just get the double EXP really quick before I uh, call tonight. Obviously going to miss out on the KV. That thing should be uh, toast to all those tanks. See if I can't find the priest or go for the cap. I actually just won a... Uh, really hard fought game with my T-34 by stealing a cap out from the massive enemy swarm that went to go flank the whole rest of the army. It turned out really well because uh, me and this other VK-3-3001 I believe, uh, 
we had like three or four tank destroyers coming at us and one would target him, I'd swing around behind and hit them, one would then target me, he'd swing around behind them and hit them. So it was just perfect teamwork for two guys, not on comms. And I mean that's that's just how you play this game. I'm looking for this priest here, I don't see him. He's either camouflaged or is on the move. I'm gonna probably go for the cap though. If he does pop up, I'm honestly gonna take a shot here. You get more at least the uh, I'm pretty sure you do. You actually get more experience and more uh, credits for doing a cap as opposed to doing an enemy clear or enemy kill because it's objective based obviously. Uh, you take the objective as opposed to just eliminate the team. So, yeah, that's that's just how it works. Don't ask me. <laughs> that's the way I play it. Always go for the cap. I don't really like to go eliminate the enemy team because there's a lot of stuff in the enemy team I know I can't take out. He is behind me. He is actually right over here. Ugh. Missed. Oh, boo hiss. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> well, there we go. 3,000 experience for one game. 35,000 credits. That was awesome. Sniper. Uh, not me. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll throw this in the middle of the game somewhere along the lines. Or middle of video, rather. I was actually hoping to use my M3 Lee because I am so close to finishing it up and being able to switch to the T1 Heavy, I guess it is. I don't know, whatever the American Heavy is. But instead, I'm here in my trusty 76mm uh, Sherman. So, I'm not going to argue. 76mm Sherman is totally awesome. I love it. It's a great tank. It's probably on par with my uh, T34 57 as one of my... Well, no. I think pretty much all these Tier 5s have been my favorite really can't say that I've had any problems with any of them. I mean, yeah, the turret on the, uh, sorry, the Panzer IV is a little slow. The gun on it, though, is awesome once you upgrade it properly and get the correct stuff for it. So that one kind of evens out. The, uh, what is that thing? The 57mm uh, T-34 is awesome as well. Well, the T-34 in general is pretty awesome, I should say. It's just the fact that the 57mm on it makes it that much more awesome. But yeah, I mean, there's tons of upgrades you can do to make the T-34 really hot. A whole bunch of options to see if I can snipe this guy. Probably going to hit this truck, though. Yup, blew the truck up. <laughs> Some guy's going to have to file an insurance claim. It's going to suck for him. How'd your car get destroyed? Eh, tank. Yeah, not sure that's covered. T-34. And then a Panzer IV. We'll go for the T30. Well, no, we'll go for this little thing. Of course, he moves real fast, so I just completely whiff that shot. There we go. Showed him, sort of. Is he? That's gotta hurt. I tracked him, but didn't do any damage. Okay. And I missed. Oh, these long-range shots are trouble. And then a Panzer II Luke. He's gone. So it looks like the majority of my threats are behind this hill, so we're going to go support our team. Had our fun sniping, didn't do anything, but uh, tracked a guy and did a little damage, so now we're going to hop up and over surprise some guys. Or get sought after by artillery as I'm crossing the open. We'll find out. So yeah, we'll take our chances going up here. Yeah, 76 mil Sherman, awesome. Panzer IV with the correct upgrades, awesome. T-34 with the correct upgrades, pretty awesome as a sniper tank rapid fire sniper tank, sorry. You can shoot god awfully fast at that thing. Oh, crest the hill. He was back behind it. And he's dead. Well, good work team. I showed you my, uh, I gave you my moral support, I guess. So, now we just need to go and hunt down a bunch of tank hunters, a probably damaged T1, and a KV. KB probably has the big gun on it. So, not nothing to scoff at, but I'm certainly not going to sit around hiding and waiting. Drive me through some woods and cross this bridge up here and hope for the best. But, there we go. Oh, here we go, tank destroyer. Flank around behind him if we can. That's a martyr too. Ha! Huh. 
my ram didn't take him out as much as I thought it would. Well, still got the assist. Again, all that matters is the uh, the damage you do, not necessarily the kill streak you earn. Even though it certainly does help for rewards and stats, and it is nice to have you know like four or five kills. But you know what? I'll take the experience in the end as opposed to uh, a high kill count from just kill stealing. Doesn't really get me anywhere to do that. Let me cross in the open here, and this is not going to be good. I think there's a yeah, I'm pretty sure there's artillery back in this corner. You gotta try and run around behind him. Oh, nuts! He's not even looking at me. Pop him in this hatch back there. Of course, that artillery's gonna zero in on me when I'm sitting here. I'm gonna have to move. Yep, see, he was zooming in on me. Using this thing as bait. Come on, one last one. Nope, didn't kill him, but someone did. Oh, well, now to go find this artillery. Ah, there's some guys over that way. So I just got hit pretty bad. Crossing this open is deadly. Oh. Nope, I just got nailed probably by that Hummel. No, I got hit by the priest. He did a great job of leading me. Good job, dude. Well, that's probably going to do it for me, though, for the day. I want to thank you guys for watching my episode. If you'd please take a moment to rate and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it, and I will catch you guys in my next episode.